So this is the XSR 900 2023. I just got it in August. Uh, it was an impulse buy. One of my Discord friends posted a picture of two of these at a dealership and I just could not control myself. Um, I ended up getting it and I freaking love it so much. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I stop. There's some horsies. But this is just a pretty ride in Georgia with the leaves changing colors and little lakes here and there. I got this bike and immediately took it on like a 900 mile road trip to Kentucky. Went to the Tail of the Dragon the day I got it. I dropped it the next day after I got it. <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, it really hurt my heart, but I did learn a good lesson uh, about stopping on a slope and, tr you know, trying to see if there's traffic coming, just how you stop. Don't stop at weird angles is what I learned. <laughs> but it was better for me to drop the bike than try to go and not see if there's actually a car coming or not. So that's what happened there. Stuck behind these cars. I really love the quick shifter on this. This is one of my favorite parts of the bike. Also the cruise control, but I don't end up using the cruise control as much just because, you know, I live in a very heavy traffic area. So I just use it when I'm on the interstate mostly and there's not a lot of traffic, but it is nice to have to give your wrist a little bit of rest. Snoopy O. Yeah. Rock City, you see these beautiful horses. There's some little mini ponies over there. I don't know if you can see those or not. It's just beautiful out today. It's so perfect. It's a great day for a ride. This is my favorite part, is just freaking taking off. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> I recently got a speeding ticket though on this bike because uh, it's just so fun, I couldn't help myself, you know? But the cop was nice and lowered uh, my speed so I didn't get a super speeder. So I am grateful for that, but I need to be a good girl. and. Uh, not go too far over the speed limit, which is hard. <laughs> much to talk about. Um, I'm usually just, you know, riding and enjoying the scenery. That's what I do. My very first bike was a 2020 Vulcan S and I think that was a great beginner bike, but I got, I was just starting to get really bored of it. And I decided, I started to switch to really like naked bikes. So that's why I ended up getting the XSR 900. Uh, I love the way it looks. I love the color of it. And I think I made a great choice, honestly. I mean, I haven't ridden too many bikes. I don't know, maybe like 10 or so. But um, it really is so fun to ride. It's It's got that lift control, so it doesn't scare me like uh, it would have if it didn't have the lift control but I really love the XSR. And seam is about 32.5. I'm 5'6", so I've got a nice, I can flat foot this bike. Look how beautiful she is. Love it. I got the Corbin for this. I would not recommend spending the money on the Corbin seat for the XSR. 
just because I don't think it's worth it. This is a problem for me. Uh, I usually end up sitting like right there anyway, so yeah, don't spend the money on a Corbin. Yamaha needs to do something to fix that stupid part of the seat. The one thing that I did do is I put a tail tidy on this. The tail tidy, the Corbin seat, that's really all I've done to it so far. I'm trying to find a little windscreen for it, but I haven't found one that I like yet. Oh, I did the radiator cover. And yeah, that's about it. But this is the XSR 900 2023 model. I've added the grips to the tank. I got my little tail bag. She is so fucking beautiful though. Let's see. Show you where I freaking dropped it. Right there. Scratched up the cover. And that's really the biggest part of the drop that I've, I messed it up with a little bit here, but it's not bad. So that's my short review of the XSR 900. And that's all I've got to say about that. So be love y'all. We need more of that in the world. Peace out. Big spot right there. Uh...